If you were a cosmic giant and you came up to Earth and you rubbed your finger over Earth's surface, it would feel as smooth as a cue ball to you. Wow. In fact, in, in, this, in, in this book, I have a whole chapter called On Being Round, <laughs> which is all about this. It's all about our perception of what is round and what is not. I had asked you to debate one of them flat earth guys. No, I don't. I can't. I, no, no. I know. We talked about it and we we're going to have them on Skype. No, what we do is, and I think this is a diabolical plot, so that the next time we can ship people en masse into orbit, they all want to be the first in line because they know we're going to send them so that they can see the round earth. They're going to be the first ones in space. Just so they can stop annoying the rest of us. I don't, I don't think <laughs> like, you're correct. There. I think it's. it's oh, I you don't think you're correct. But you don't I think do it's have, a diabolical plot. I do have people that have met that don't believe because they. The problem with YouTube videos is, you, and it's a problem with a lot of things. But one of the things about being unchecked while you are discussing things is you can say things, you can use big words, you can sound articulate and smooth, and you can do it in a very professional looking manner. Or do you, it passionately. Yes, passionately, convincingly, charismatically, and you, you're you unchecked. But if you did that in front of an expert and you showed them that, along the way they go, stop, that's not true. Stop, that's not what works. Right. Let me show you why this is incorrect. Let me show you how you could prove that this is incorrect. Let me show you objective truths. But this is not happening. That render your argument invalid. Right. So people who don't have any education, and then they watch one of these YouTube clips, they start actually believing that this stuff makes sense because it's unchecked. And I would say it's not about whether they've had education, it's about whether the education they had teaches them skepticism of information mm. and teaches them how to inquire. Do you realize it's just as intellectually lazy to believe everything you see as it is to deny everything you see? Yes. Why should someone know automatically that Earth isn't flat, yet I tell them in the next breath that the entire universe was once as small as a marble, right? Both of those sound equally preposterous, except one has evidence to back it and the other does not, and very strong scientific, theoretical, and experimental underpinnings. So when you are trained to inquire you don't either believe everything outright or reject everything outright. You're trained to ask questions. You're trained to probe deeper than the layer of information that comes to you. That's what should be taught in school. And it's not. They give you a book and say, learn this. Yeah. And you'll get tested on it. And then when you're done, learn this. Well, isn't also there's a problem with being inexorably connected to your first belief. 